John and welcome to John's Box and to another episode of Swindon and its Railways and we're going to look uh, at Swindon uh, Swindon's Railway Stations it says tracks here but um, you may or may not have seen uh, the previous edition of Swindon and its Railways which uh, showed uh, the uh, history and the present day of Swindon Station, formerly Swindon Junction Station, and Swindon Town, which is now defunct. So, in this edition, we're going to look at four other stations, which are, or were rather, in and around Swindon. Uh, one of them still exists as a Heritage Railway, uh, at uh, Blunsden Station, we're also going to look at Wooten Bassett, Stratton Holt and Highwa. So sit back in your first class carriage and relax for what's coming up. Wooten Bassett Junction Railway Station, formerly Wooten Bassett Railway Station, was a junction station where the Great Western and South Wales main lines diverge. It opened in 1841 and closed in 1965. The station opened on the 30th of July 1841 to be precise when the Great Western Main Line from London Paddington was extended from Chippenham through the Box Tunnel through to Bristol Temple Meads. It replaced Wooten Bassett Road to the east as the station serving Wooten Bassett. The railway was double tracked with a platform on each side of the line and a small stone building on each. The main offices were on the north side of the line but a good shed was provided on the south side at the London end of the platform. In 1850, an excursion train collided with a horse box that had escaped from a siding at the station. Following this accident, the Great Western Railway provided trap points and scotch blocks at all sidings that exited onto running lines. In 1873, a signal box was opened at the west end of the Bristol-bound platform to control trains through the station. A footbridge was provided from 1880 to allow passengers to cross the tracks but a road bridge was also available at the east end of the station. June 1874 saw a third rail laid along each track to give a mixed gauge which allowed standard gauge trains to operate through the station, although broad gauge services to Cornwall continued to operate until May 1892. In 1896, an Act of Parliament was passed to allow the GWR to construct a new Bristol and South Wales direct railway which would shorten the distance from London to South Wales by about 10 miles. It was to commence from a junction a little west of Wooten Bassett Station and run to Patchway north of Bristol, from where trains could continue through the Severn Tunnel. The station was rebuilt on the same site, opening on, on the 1st of July 1903, to coincide with the opening of the new line, which completed the present-day South Wales main line. New platforms with brick-built buildings were provided. The main offices and goods yard were in nearly the same places as before. There were now two signal boxes, Wooten Bassett West and Wooten Bassett East, which were brought into use in November 1901 and July 1903 respectively. By the 1930s, Wooten Bassett had become a railhead for railway goods traffic to the surrounding district, with the GWR basing a country lorry service here, and a new warehouse was provided to support this. In 1931, a private siding was opened to allow milk trains to service the creamery operated by United Dairies. The Great Western Railway was nationalised to become the Western Region of British Railways on the 1st of January 1948. General Goods was withdrawn on the 19th of May 1964, followed on the 4th of January 1965 by local passenger services between Swindon and Chippenham. 
Coal trains continued to serve the goods yard until the 4th of October 1965. The station buildings have been demolished, but the main approach road on the north side of the line is still clearly visible. A loop line allows up trains, those towards London, from the South Wales direct line to be moved aside while faster trains overtake them. There is no connection to this loop from the Bristol line. In February 2011, Wiltshire County Council and Wessex Chamber of Commerce jointly commissioned Network Rail to evaluate construction of a new station at Woodton Bassett to serve the Interface Business Park. The station was to be proposed to be built on the site of the previous station and served by first Great Western services from Swindon to Salisbury. As of today, there is information from Rail Future a body within Wilts County Council, dating to March 2021, would support the proposal, but there is concern as to the eventual cost of reopening, and it has proposed a two-platform station with adequate access, signage and weather protection, although additional signalling may be required, and states that a Bristol to Oxford service would not require platforms on the South Wales line. The former Blonsdon Railway Station now operates as a heritage railway station. It was built to serve the village of Blonsdon, north of Swindon, although located within the boundaries of Purton. Blonsdon was one of the last stations to be opened by the Midland and South Western Junction Railway in 1895 on a railway that had opened in 1883. It was a little more than a single platform halt, and milk was the main traffic. It also had a single siding, used for such traffic as fertiliser and other agricultural requirements. It was also one of the first stations on the route to be closed. Regular passenger trains stopped calling in 1922, leaving one solitary passenger train service stopping at Blunston on a Sunday until 1924. The station closed completely on the 1st of August 1937 when goods traffic ceased. The site became the headquarters of the Swindon and Crickwade Railway in the late 1970s because it offered the best road access to the track bed between Swindon and Cricklade. By that time almost every trace of the original station had gone and the present structures are all new. Blunsdon Station offers a variety of services, including the Swindon and Cricklade Railway Shop, canteen and buffet, toilets and car parking space. <coughs> Stratton Park Holt serves the community of Stratton St Margaret, now part of the borough of Swindon. The station was on the main Great Western Railway line from Bristol to London and opened around 1840. The beating cut brought its closure in 1964, by which time it was only served by five trains per day. Opened in 1883 by the Great Western Railway, as the terminus of a branch line from Swindon, this station closed to passengers in 1953 and completely in 1962. The road known as Windrush appears to follow the track of the former railway at this point. No trace of the former railway station appears to remain, but the station sign does. The station served to transport not only passengers, but workers to the GWR site in Swindon, and to the Vickers plant at South Marston. So I hope you found that interesting. In the next edition or two, we're going to focus on steam locomotives built at the Swindon Works, namely the ones which are 
in the Museum of Steam. So that will be coming up in a few weeks time. Uh, stay tuned, don't forget to do all your YouTube stuff and see you again in my next video. Bye for now.